Hello everyone. I am your chemistry coach and my name is Saad Anwar. And today what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss electrolysis of aqueous solution. Previously, I have uploaded a video lecture about electrolysis of aqueous solution. And in that lecture, I have discussed particular example of sulfuric acid. But now I am going to share with you when I have a solution of NaCl, then what happened? How can I predict the nature of product which is going to appear at cathode and which is going to appear at anode? Which type of product will appear at cathode and which type of product will appear at anode in case of dilute solution of NaCl and in case of concentrated solution of NaCl, I am going to discuss. So let's start. The topic name is electrolysis of aqueous solution of NaCl. And for that, I have two examples. One is when I have concentrated, concentrated, concentrated means but that does not contain a lot of water. Concentrated solution of NaCl and other is dilute solution, dilute solution of NaCl. So I have to predict the nature of product which is which which will be going to appear at cathode and at anode in case of concentrated solution of NaCl and in case of dilute solution of NaCl. I means I have to I have to tell you I have to share that which product will appear at cathode and which product will appear at anode in case of dilute solution of NaCl and in case of concentrated solution of NaCl. So, you know, the concentrated solution of NaCl means very less amount of water, but this also contain water. So the ions which we obtain from water is ions from water. The ions which we obtain from water is hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions. The ions from NaCl, ions from NaCl would be sodium ions and chloride ions. Sodium ions aqueous and chloride ions aqueous. In case of concentrated solution of NaCl, the ions from water would be hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions. And the ions from NaCl is sodium ion and chloride ion. Similarly, in case of dilute solution of NaCl, ions from Water would be again hydroxide ions aqueous and hydrogen ions aqueous. And the ions from NaCl, ions from NaCl again would be sodium ions aqueous and chloride ions aqueous. So the, my job is to predict which ions will appear at cathode and which ions will appear at anode. Okay, okay, guys. So just let me draw electrode and cathode. Just imagine this is a cell and this is this is a cell and this and I have I have I have I have to draw here one electrode this one and other electrode is this one this is the electrode connected to positive terminal of battery and this is the electrode connected to negative terminal of battery this this electrode carry positive charge this electrode carry negative charge this is cathode and this is anode and this electrode this is an electrolytic cell and this electrolytic cell is is for concentrated concentrated solution of NaCl. And 
this one is another this one is another electrolytic cell and this cell also contain two electrode one is this electrode and other this electrode and both of these electrode connected to battery negative positive positive and negative and this is case particular example is for dilute dilute solution of nacl so in case of concentrated solution of nacl i have a lot of chloride ions lot of chloride ions lot of sodium ions lot of sodium ions a lot of sodium ions and lot of chloride ions in case of concentrated solution of nacl and very very few number of fewer number the very less number of hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions in case of concentrated solution of nacl in case of dilute solution of nacl i have a lot of hydroxide ions in my beaker in my cell a lot of hydroxide ions a lot of hydrogen ions as well where there is a hydroxide ion there is a hydrogen ion and a very fewer number of less number of chloride ion and sodium ion chloride ion and sodium ions okay so here i have to predict which product will gonna appear at anode and which product will gonna appear at cathode this is anode and this is cathode so guys remember now there is a competition uh, you see there is hydroxide ion as well there is hydrogen ion as well so there is a competition between hydroxide ion and chloride and let me draw here i have hydroxide ions i have hydrogen ions i have sodium ions and i have chloride ions here once again i have hydroxide ions i have hydrogen ions i have sodium ions and i have chloride ions so at anode i have to now predict which ions migrate towards anode which ions have to migrate towards anode you guys see anode carry positive charge so it means hydroxide ions and chloride ions both want to migrate towards anode mark my words here this is very important point of today's video lecture this is the crux of today's video lecture in case of concentrated solution of nacl as you, you guys see you guys can see an old carry positive charge so hydroxide ion also want to move towards anode similarly chloride ions can also want to move towards anodes the point is which ions will reach at anode earlier which ions will reach at anode earlier this is concentrated 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 means a lot of chloride ions so at anode hydroxide ions will never reach earlier in case of concentrated solution of nacl in case of concentrated solution of nacl always chloride ions reach earlier at anode in case of concentrated solution of nacl always chloride ion reach earlier at anode then what happened at anode oxidation takes place and chloride ions converted into chlorine atom by producing an electron and similarly this chlorine atom will combine with another chlorine atom and i get a chlorine gas so i can say that in case of concentrated solution of nacl chlorine gas will be given off at anode in case of concentrated solution of nacl the product which will appear at anode will be chlorine gas in case of concentrated solution of nacl the product which will appear at anode will be chlorine gas and what about 
what about cathode cathode carry negative charge so hydrogen ions also wants to move towards cathode and sodium ions also wants to move towards cathode now which ion will reach at cathode earlier remember remember that selective discharge list which i have described previously in that list you guys can see sodium ion sodium is quite above and hydrogen is quite below the ions which is above in reactivity series the metal or we can say that the metal which is above in reactivity series that the ions of that metal cannot reach earlier let me show you that electric let me show you that series once again uh just a second here is that series you guys can see that series here this is a reactivity series which i am going to share with you guys this is order of reactivity you can see here this is hydrogen ion and this is the sodium ion remember the the metal which is present above hydrogen in reactivity series the ions of that metal will remain in solution and cannot reach earlier at cathode so it means hydrogen ion will reach earlier one we have to compare hydrogen with sodium hydrogen ion will reach earlier at cathode and you guys can show a reaction like this in case of cathode hydrogen ion reach earlier and by getting electron hydrogen ions converted into hydrogen atom when this hydrogen atom combined with another hydrogen atom you will get a hydrogen gas so you can say that at cathode the product will be hydrogen gas okay now going to describe what happened in case of dilute solution of ncl this is dilute it means it has a lot of hydroxide ion and lot of hydrogen ion and a fewer number of sodium ion and chloride ion so in case of anode you guys know that if uh, this is this is selective discharge list if i have to if if i if i have to decide if i have to decide between chloride ion and hydroxide ions which ion should reach earlier at cathode then the ions which are present at the bottom that ions reach earlier at electrode remember the ions which are present at bottom that ions reach earlier at electrode so in case of dilute solution of nscl although there is chloride ion chloride ion also wants to reach towards anode hydroxide ion also wants to reach towards anode because hydroxide ion carry negative charge chloride ion carry negative charge but hydroxide ion will reach earlier but in case of concentrated solution of nscl hydroxide ion cannot reach earlier why because in case of concentrated solution of nscl there is a lot of chloride ion and a very less number of hydroxide ion but in case of dilute solution of nscl there is a lot of hydroxide ion so hydroxide ion will reach earlier at anode and oxidation will take place and hydroxide ions will 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 be converted into by by oxidation of hydroxide ion will happen and hydroxide ion will be converted into water molecule producing oxygen gas along with four electron to make this equation balance put a four here so you can say that oxygen gas will be given off oxygen gas will be given off at anode what about cathode sodium ion also want to move towards cathode hydrogen ion also wants to move towards cathode and you now reactivity series hydrogen ions will reach earlier at cathode and by getting electron hydrogen ions converted into hydrogen atom and later on this hydrogen atoms will be transferred into hydrogen gas so you can say that at cathode the product will be hydrogen gas 
so this is uh, um, this is something about this topic just let me just uh, this, let, let me summarize all these things in case of concentrated solution of nscl the product at anode will be chlorine gas and the product at cathode will be hydrogen gas mark this this is very important point in case of dilute solution of nscl the product at anode will be oxygen gas and cathode will be hydrogen gas now let me open your textbook so this is your textbook which i am going to follow i'm going to follow different books a book is also in my hand you guys can see book is also in my hand oh what i am going to share with you guys is Oh, yes, yes, for dilute solution of sodium chloride. You guys can see for dilute solution of sodium chloride. Where is my pen? Oh, guys, where is my pen? Yes, for dilute solution of sodium chloride. The same ions are present as before, means hydrogen ion and hydroxide ions, chloride ions and sodium ions. But now the proportion of sodium and chloride ions is lower in case of dilute. Since this is dilute solution, so result would be different. Add the cathode hydrogen win as before and bubble off. So we can say that at cathode, the product will be hydrogen gas. Okay, add anode hydroxide ions give up electrons since not many chloride ions are present because this is dilute. So this is something which I have mentioned in my next video. I will discuss an, another very interesting topic about electrolysis. So it's time of signing off. It's time to say goodbye. Do you have any questions? You can share your question in the comment section. You can also put your questions in my WhatsApp number and you can take my WhatsApp number uh, about section of my channel okay thank you so much if you feel this video interesting and if you feel this video is quite helpful in your in, ju in your process of understanding that please do share this videos with your rest of classmates and other students thank you so much for watching